In a city as vast as Los Angeles, deciding on a spot for staples like tacos can often seem daunting and mission, especially if you don't know what's overhyped, a solid spot, or downright underrated. In my eight years of living here, however, I've found a few tried and true spots that I always enjoy going to. From fish tacos, vegan tacos, birria, or street tacos, I've got you covered in today's top picks for tacos around Hollywood. Let's go to the first spot. Alright, so it had been three years since my last visit here and I actually ended up finding it disappointing this time. So we're scratching this spot off the list and moving to the next place, which has great fish tacos and more. Alright guys, we're now in North Hollywood at El Tejano. It's a really great place to close out a late afternoon like right now. They have Tex-Mex style food, so really big party portions of tacos. And the tacos normally are $6 each, but they're really big and I'm about to dig into a couple of them that I selected here just now. Their daily specials are also really good. Like if you come on Mondays, they have trivia nights and $3 margaritas, or you could get a Texas size one for an additional two dollars. On Tuesdays they've got Taco Tuesdays with tacos that are only a dollar each. Other various specials during the rest of the week but those two are my favorite in particular. Anyways I don't want to let these yummy hearty tacos get cold so I'm going to just start biting into them. This first one is a Baja fish taco. You can get your fish taco as either grilled or Baja. I usually get mine in the Baja style. As you can see it's a giant piece of fish definitely will fill you up real good. Got cheese and tomato and other toppings all over it, but let's fight it. If you like big hearty Tex-Mex style tacos, you're gonna love these. Even though they're six dollars, even just one, definitely two, will make you nice and full. The fish is very thick and really well cooked inside. All very cheesy and rich. This next one is the asada style. Got some nice chunks of avocado in it. Obviously the asada meat, cheese, onion, cilantro, all that good stuff. Let's bite it. I got a good slap of that avocado when I bit in. Nice and fresh, perfect contrast to the simple, thin, well-cooked asada meat, light toppings inside of it. Very enjoyable, very filling. Love it. This last one is a hard shell plant-based taco. So this one is a vegetarian taco. If you want a soft shell, they have fried avocado or potato options as well for like vegetarian, vegan type of tacos. Anyways, let me give a try to it. Ooh. Wow. Okay. It's basically like a better quality Taco Bell taco. It's got that ground beef, plant-based. Tastes just like the real thing. Some sour cream and cheese and lettuce and tomatoes. You know, simple. Nothing super fancy. Really just the cheese is melted inside. It feels great. The tender plant-based meat is all delicious. I love biting into it. Yeah, I really like it. All of them, all really good. The fish in particular, I've had it before and it always comes with just a really big slab of fish. Love it. Fish is definitely a 10 out of 10. The asada, also really good. Probably give it eight out of 10 or so because it's nothing amazing, but it's still a really good asada taco. Plant-based taco, like a better quality Taco Bell taco. And since it's plant-based, I also give it props for that. So another eight out of 10 for that as well. All right, so we're polishing off those tacos real fast. But before we head out, I wanted to just talk about the place a little bit. Obviously, aside from this trio of tacos that I selected to show you that they have, they have a lot more to choose from. They have big hearty plates of Texas nachos, Texas tots that you can get and also nice big Texas sized margaritas for only an extra two dollars from the regular margaritas. Great outdoor patio. They have like I mentioned trivia night on Mondays. Great for Sunday fun days that sort of thing. Games, cornhole, nice big connect fours that you can do out here on the outdoor bar patio area. It's one of my favorite spots out here in NoHo as North Hollywood is nicknamed. And if you're interested at all in more that NoHo has to offer, I've actually done a video about some of the other things that you can do around the area here, so be sure to check that out after watching this video. You know, Austin is one of my favorite 
favorite cities, and if you've ever been there before, this is a lot like many of those great outdoor Tex-Mex patios that they have there for drinks and great hearty food that you can enjoy. It's just a really fun, nice escape from some of the more usual LA spots around you here in Osware. But anyways, we're gonna head back to Hollywood, so I'll see you there. Alright, we're back in the heart of Hollywood, off of Fountain and Vine, inside of a little strip mall area. Like many strip malls in Hollywood, it looks kind of inconspicuous, but has a lot of great hidden gems inside of it. For tacos today, Doomie's Next Mex, a sister restaurant to Doomie's. Doomie's Next Mex, right next to them, is one of the first solely vegan taquerias here in Los Angeles, and one of my favorite spots for tacos and Mexican food in general, but especially for vegan Mexican food. So I'm gonna go grab a little bit right now. Let's go. I just grabbed myself one of their asada tacos here at Doomies. I didn't want to get too much because our next destination would be your tacos. It's only right up the street from us. So we're gonna be there in a few minutes. Get a bit of the love. See, it's a simple taco, got that vegan asada, which they say is not, in fact, jackfruit. So I'm not sure what it is. It's really good, I've had it before. They have just simple onion, cilantro, some of the green verde sauce. I'm just gonna... Mm. I love this stuff even more than I like regular tacos. The quality is all just so good. And they give you so much. The tortilla is just so thick and rich. Great to bite into, really mushy and soft. The asana meat is textured so well. Same texture as real meat. Feels great when you bite in. The contrast with the crunch from the onion. A little bit of spice, but light from the verde salsa. But anyways, yeah, I'm a sucker for really, really good vegan food that can fool you for just the real thing. I love when I can find that alternative as possible. So I could go on all day about this. To just wrap this up, Doomie's Next Mix is a great casual spot in Hollywood. When you go in, you just order at a kiosk and then they have your food out within a few minutes the tacos sound a little expensive. They're around $4 per taco. But as you can see, it's very filling and full, each one of them. For an extra $4, you can make it a plate with rice and beans and that sort of thing. We're just down the street from our next spot, which is a really good beer place. So we're going to head over there right now. If you want to see more about Doomies or other vegan spots in LA, definitely let me know in the comments below because I love trying vegan food and would definitely love to share more of that with you if that's anything that you'd be interested in. Let's go. We're now outside of Papi Tacos and Churros, one of my favorite places in Los Angeles to find birria and other great Mexican food. They spend over three days preparing, marinating, and slow cooking their birria meat. It's really good. They also have a location over in Santa Monica if you're in that area. But anyways, we want to go eat some birria right now, so less talking. Let's go. Quesa taco. See, it's nice and red from all that marination and slow cooking over three days. A little thin, but very cheesy. Got that asada birria in it with the cilantro and onion. We got some radish lime on the sides. Squeeze a bit of lime on. Take a bite without the sauce that they have on the side first, just see how it is by itself. Mm, perfectly cooked. Perfectly. Really good. 
crispy edges. Look at that. So delicious. The cheesy softness inside. Just the perfect contrast to the exterior. The meat is so tender. Like it is literally the most tender berry of meat I've ever been into. I absolutely love this. It's about three dollars for each taco, but I think it's definitely well worth that price. And you could also get the OG plate. The OG plate comes with several things, including one of their tacos, quesa taco, the mulita, quesadilla, the consomme, basically a little bit of everything for sixteen dollars. Highly recommend that if you're feeling really hungry. I didn't get that much today because we've already had a few tacos. Regardless of what you get, well worth the price. So delicious. Let's put some of the sauce on. It. It's a little bit spicy if I remember, but we'll see how it... See? A bit of crunch of that radish. Really good sauce. It's spicy but not too spicy at all. It goes great with the really tender and cheesy taco. Perfect company. And then also, if you want to bite into the radish, I personally love the fresh crunch of the radish as well. Personal recommendation. All right, the other item that I wanted to try for you today is their mulita. Look how nice and rich it is. Those two tortillas. Oh, I just love how delicious and cheesy, crispy all of it is. rich and cheesy and flavorful, even more than the queso tacos. I really like this and I think it's really good value for money. If you're into mulitas and that sort of thing, it comes with so much cheesiness and that tender berry. I highly recommend. I'm gonna dip it in a bit of that sauce. Mm. The sauce is really good too. Let me wipe my face with it. I love taking a bite of the radish in between the soft, tender bites of the mulita or taco. Excellent, spacious outdoor patio. Amazing, authentic Mexican food that I absolutely love. Great central location in Hollywood on Vine if you're in this area or over in Santa Monica. If you're in the area looking for birria, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Definitely suggest coming to this one. But those are some of my top spots for various taco options here in the Los Angeles Hollywood area. Obviously, in a place as vast as Los Angeles, we didn't even touch the surface on so many options, including, of course, food trucks and stalls and things like that. And, of course, there's everything over in East L.A. A lot to touch on. And if you want to see more taco videos like this around L.A., or if you have any suggestions yourself for taco spots in L.A., be sure to let me know all of that in the comments below. Other than that, if you enjoyed enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like and also subscribe if you haven't already so that you can get more content in Los Angeles and Las Vegas in the future but with that I'll see you later and stay for the bloopers thanks and action deciding on a spot why do we keep saying the wrong thing fit check <laughs> about the top picks for OG vegan junk suits <laughs> and Doomy's next mix right door next <laughs> said green bird eh? <laughs> cook I uh, know it's a really nice escape <laughs> Cut.